guess what I am using? I posted a video earlier this morning showing you guys the Jaclyn Hill brush collection and guess what I'm about getting ready to do a look with all of these. What okay, was so is I went an underneath with an angled brush and I used my concealer instead, not my concealer, my foundation instead. So this way I wouldn't have these, these harsh lines above it and wouldn't have to worry about blending so much. Um, that and underneath it. I'm going to skip to doing the rest of my face and then we'll get to my eyes a little bit later. But I want to try out this powder or bronzing brush. The JHO2. Bronzing, right? Yep. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to go in with the Morphe Highlight and Contour Palette. This is the 8H. And I'm going to go in with this color in the corner, Donut. And we're going to see how this works. Okay, I do think that the, the brush has soaked up some of it. So I'm going to add a little bit more product. Okay, so we're going to take the contour brush, which is the JH05. What do I want to use to contour? I think I'm going to go with the new Cover FX that I got. Um, and we're going to go in with the contour color, which is this one here. Let's see how much. Ooh, all out. Hi. Ooh. Okay, this brush is badass. <laughs> cool. It really does pick up the color nicely. It's soft. Look at that contour. Wow. Okay. Hi. Yeah. Definitely worth it. If you can't pick up the entire brush collection, which I haven't used yet, so I can't comment on all the brushes, Get the contour brush. That's for that's for damn sure. Ooh, I'm really liking that. There is quite a bit of fallout here. Let's contour that nose. Mind you, I like to blend everything when I do setting powder too, so nothing is that harsh. But we are going to contour. I feel like there's enough on the brush where I can. Yeah, you can totally tell that my nose is contoured. Need to blend the bitch. Oh yes, absolutely. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do that. But before I do that, I'm going to take the JH04, the blush brush, and I'm gonna try this blush here that's also in that Cover FX palette. Okay, very nice brush. Getting the job done, absolutely. Don't need to put a lot of product on it. It's working very nicely. Hi, hello. I am loving that. I can't wait to blend it all. Oof. Yeah, that is a really harsh nose contour. I really need to fix that. And I will. Definitely. All right, so I got the blush brush. Where's that beautiful powder brush? Okay, so, well, let me do the highlight first. I think the JH07, was that the highlighting brush or was it the natural brush? Let's figure it out. Um, I don't see. I don't see the, the Glow Baby Glow, JH09. I'm guessing that's the one. JH08. Is it here? JH06. I'm a little lost on which, which brush this is. JH09, it's this one? Okay. I'm gonna go in with this is a brightener, not a highlighter, but we're going to try it as a highlighter. Is 
is definitely picking up the product. I don't need much. I did want my makeup to stand out a little more today because I need to take a few pictures. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a touch on the nose here. And on the cheek as well. A little bit on the chin. I look like a clown right now. Do you guys see that? Outer brush. And go in with my Kat Von D setting powder. And we are, oh, we're not going to use that much. Oh, good God. It's definitely going to lighten it up. I've used this powder before. It's translucent. It's the locket powder. But still. Cool. It's always lightened things for me. Okay. Yeah. I've got a lot of product on there. Woo! -hoo. Ready? it is just so dark and it's making me look like a clown I just didn't rethink it was going to put that much there holy jeez okay so let's fix it let's get some concealer on there and blend it out and we're going to use one of Jeffree Star's tiny little mini brushes to blend this Okay. Note to self. Do not put that much contour on nose. Be careful with that brush. Much better. Yay! Now I don't look like a nut. All right. Whew. This is crazy. Okay. Now, shall we go on with the eyes? I think we should go on with the eyes. And we're going to use the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette today because I'm feeling kind of like a bronzes, bronzes, bronze-ish kind of look. Maybe a smoky look. I don't know. I'm going to take one of her blending brushes. This is the JH31. And... First, I'm going to go in with this fresh look, which is that corner one right there. And I'm just going to kind of coat the eye. My Morphe 502 brush collection, I loved it. But now it seems like I just needed new brushes. And I've only had it maybe maybe four or five months. So it's kind of sad. They didn't last a little longer. Unless, like I said, I need to be using something else. Um, now I'm going to go in with twig I think and I'm going to use the JH no I'm not that's the wrong one the JH 36 I'm just kind of playing around with this I don't know what my look is going to be don't really have a clue right now so I wanted to put a few transition shades in here. I did not put concealer on my eyes, but I did put a primer. I do like the way that these are blending. These brushes are pretty good so far. I'm really liking it. I'm trying not to make too long of a video either. Okay. There, we've got a base down now. So here's what I want to do. I want to take one of the shimmers and I want to do that with the corner. And then I want to do one of the darker shades on the outer lid here. So we are going to take this JH41. We are going to pack some color on. What are we going to do? Or do we? Yeah, we, we do. We do want to do that. Okay. So I'm going to go in with the pearl color, which is next to the fresh. It's this one here. And I'm going to put that here. There's a fly. I don't like flies. 
Now I'm definitely noticing a lot of fallout with this palette. And I've only used it maybe one other time before. And really I'm just kind of placing and blending that color here. But I don't feel like a lot of it is staying on my lid. Maybe I did need some concealer. And that's always an option for me to go back and do. Yeah, I might have to do that. Unless I just want a nice subtle look, but I was going to take some pictures, so I was kind of hoping for something a little bit more eye-popping. Maybe I should have went with the Jaclyn Hill palette since I'm using everything else at first. Well, of course, sort of. I used Urban Decay Foundation. Setting powder was different. Alright, just the brushes, I mean. Um... Okay, that did pack on the color kind of nicely. I think I just need, probably needed maybe a little bit more concealer. On my eyes, definitely. Instead of just a primer. I am going to put a tad underneath my eye. And now I'm going to use, a, I'm going to pick a darker color and we're going to go with that. So I really need that nice pointy brush. Mm, yeah, nope, that's the inner. Hmm. Yes, this is the one I want. The JH37? 37. Brown. Let's go in with some brown. Diastopian? Diastopian? I have no idea <laughs> what that shade is. But we're going to go in with the crease right here. Because I do want it to blend nicely, but I also want it to stand out. So. Let's do this. Time to get out of the way. Yeah. I'm kind of using circular motions because I really want to get in that crease and I want to make a difference. My eyes are so pretty much hooded most of the time, but I'm getting used to now doing this to where you can actually see my eye color on my eyelid. Her color on the outside, obviously, and then a lighter, 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 I mean like super light color on the corner and in the lid. That's what makes the difference for me. If I use a dark color, you ain't gonna see nothing. So tip and trick for someone with hooded eyes, that's what you want, baby. I also heard that Josie got her bracelet. I'm wondering if some of you other guys have gotten your bracelets from my giveaway that I did. I probably will do another one at some point. I'm not sure when, but I will. Okay. I'm really, really liking how this is coming out. It's nice and it's subtle and that works for me. So what I want to do at this point is I want to see how it's going to be underneath my eyes. I want to go back in with the JH41. This is the one I used for that light pearl color that I put here. Oh, there. Use the JH42, this nice little tiny brush. And I'm going to take that brown that I used. Oh my god, wow. Okay, that picked up the color like crazy. Woo! Do you see that? How crazy is that? Okay, so now I need me a blending brush. We'll go back with the JH36. And kind of smooth that out a little. All right, that came out pretty nice. So what I'm going to do now, since this video is getting like super long, is I'm going to put on some eyeliner and I'm going to put on some lashes and then I'm going to finish up with some lip gloss maybe on camera. I'll be back. So I'm rocking my bracelet today. I'm hoping that the rest of you are as well. Leave me a comment below if you got yours and if you love it. And stay connected. Have a great night.